So now I'm going to show you how to round a number off to the nearest whole number. So let's have a look at our first example, example 1. So we've got to round 73.2754 to the nearest whole. So if we round to the nearest whole, we're cutting the number off after the units column. So that's exactly where the decimal point is. So we're breaking the number off there. So if we round the number down, it'll be 73. And if we round the number up, it'd be 74. So we've got to decide which whole number it's closest to. And the way you decide is just to look at the number straight away after the decimal point in the tenths column. It doesn't matter about these other digits here. So if this number is less than 5, we round the number down and leave it as 73. If the number is 5 or above, we round it up to 74. So since it's a 2, less than 5, this means it's closer to 73. So the final answer is 73 to the nearest whole. So let's move on to example 2, so 6.7548. So again we need to cut the number off here. So if we round the number down, our answer will be 6. If we round it up, our answer will be 7. So we've got to decide which number it's closest to. So again look at the number straight away after the decimal point. So this is a 7, so this is 5 or above. So this means our number is closer to the 7. So let's move on to example 3. So this time we've got 276.72185. So again we need to cut the number off at the decimal point after the units. So if we round the number down it'll be 276. If we round the number up it'll be 277. So again we just need to look at the number after the decimal point in the tenths column which is a 7. So this, since this is 5 or above, we need to round the number up. So our answer is closer to 277. So our final example then is 38.2941. So again, we need to cut the number off here. So our answer will either be 38 or 39. So which number is it closest to, so we just need to look at the number after the decimal point. So since that number is less than 5, this will mean the number is close to 38 to the nearest hole. Thanks for watching.